The first views of the German wing's wreckage showed the planes smashed to pieces on the rocky slopes. Il aurait aucun survivant. France's president announced almost immediately there would be no survivors. There were no survivors, but there was a big mystery. German wings flight 9525 crashed just below that high peak behind me. It was an Airbus 320, a workhorse of a plane that had a great safety record and had flown this route many times. Just as it reached cruising altitude, about halfway into its journey from Barcelona to Dusseldorf, the Airbus began a steep descent. Eight minutes later, it slammed into the ground. Among the 144 passengers were 16 German students on a school trip, and three Americans, Yvonne Selke and her daughter Emily on vacation together, and Robert Oliver Calvo, a businessman who lived in Spain. Calvo's father said his family was coping by remembering a life lived, not lost. Instead of focusing uh, our minds and hearts on that last, uh, those last nine or ten minutes, um, we, we prefer to think about those uh, 37 years that we've been together. <laughs> but those fateful nine or ten minutes were very much the focus of the French forensic specialists who combed through the debris and within hours found the cockpit voice recorder. Its contents shocked the world. They suggested that 27-year-old Andreas Lubitz, the co-pilot, was left alone in the cockpit when the pilot took a bathroom break. He apparently then locked the pilot out and set the plane on a crash course. The victims probably didn't realize what was happening until the very end, said the French prosecutor, Brice Robon, because you only hear screams in the final moments. The silence that followed will haunt the victims' families forever. Some traveled to France for a memorial ceremony near the crash site. While in Germany, where Andreas Lubitz had lived, police found doctor's notes suggesting he was ill and should not have been at work. Friends said he'd suffered from depression. The crash has aviation agencies the world over looking at their policies on flight crews and mental illness. But we may never know what made a young man who loved flying and competitive running decide not only to commit suicide on a remote mountainside, but mass murder too by taking 149 other people with him.